Once again, we had a very busy weekend as firefighters worked on several wildfires across the state. An 89-acre wildfire is still burning between Dotsero and Gypsum. What's known as the Duck Pond Fire burned in open space. Now those flames came dangerously close to homes. Fire trucks parked outside houses in a race to put out those flames. Now we've learned this fire that caused I-70 to close on Saturday was started by someone. That fire's still under investigation and there's no information if it was intentional or not. Our Connor McHugh talked to evacuees as they returned home. Many people here in Eagle River Estates, as well as other parts of Gypsum, are back home after those mandatory evacuation orders were lifted. But while fire officials are happy with the progress, they're urging people to not get too comfortable yet. Saw smoke and flames. Oh my gosh, it wrenches your heart. A day after seeing the Duck Pond fire creep toward her neighborhood in Gypsum, Terry Schuler is marveling at how the situation has changed. It was amazing the work that they all did. On Sunday, she was among the first to line up and go home, just 24 hours after she evacuated. There was nothing I could do about it. It was out of my control, although my heart was sinking for hours and hours. That uncertainty was felt by residents and firefighters alike Saturday as heavy vegetation and winds helped the wildfire grow. Now hot spots are about all that's left. The conditions out here have been favorable for us to really stop any kind of forward progress. And as you can see, the fires died down quite a bit. Officials say they're now investigating this as a human caused fire, one that came dangerously close to several homes. We really had crews jumping on this right away and their efforts are what stopped this fire from progressing into some of the residential areas that are nearby. Schuler's home is among those. And as she finally returns, she's heeding calls to stay vigilant. I'm going to keep stuff in the cart because you just don't know what happens. In a place familiar with wildfires, there's no such thing as being too careful. And we thought that the, the, the Grizzly Creek fire was too close for comfort, but this one was licking at our feet. Fire officials say crews will stay here to continue to monitor the area and put out hot spots. In Gypsum, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.